Good morning. Good morning. So after you placed my client into custody, you waited for law enforcement? The dispatch said they were an hour out. I thought it was in your client's best interest to expedite the process. So you took them to the courthouse? I drove him and his road dog to the courthouse where they were both arraigned. Straight to the courthouse? Pretty much. Registration deadline was 9 a.m. sharp. I'm a deputy U.S. Marshal. I was hung up on official duty. In that case, perhaps you should have used your vast powers to get here on time. No such thing as on time. So after you tried to drop your daughter off, then you took Mr. Power to the courthouse. Pretty much. Okay, as promised. I get out these handcuffs. I'm lighting your bitch ass up. Tyrone, here's how we're gonna play this. Gonna unlock your hands. If you don't behave, you're gonna spend a little time in the trunk. You got my triple steak cheeseburger? And skinny fries and two orange freezes. Motherfucker, I want a Chick-fil-A. Sit your ass down. <laughs> Somebody got something they want to add? Marshal, you said it was hot that day. Did I? Yes. In your written statement, you said that it was in the best interest of my client to drive them due to the weather. Your Honor, relevance? Wherever this is going, get there. 96 degrees, Your Honor, with 90% humidity. So while you were having your leisurely lunch with your daughter, you left my client in your car. With an orange freeze and a window cracked, I might add. In the back seat of a hot black sedan. Objection. Uh, Marshal, did you ever threaten my client? Well... Did you at any time threaten to put him in the trunk of a car? It's my recollection your client was behaving in a threatening manner. So, you were going to put a black man in the trunk of your car? If necessary, I would have put a white man in there too. Your Honor, the Marshal is not the one on trial here. Give me a minute, and he will be. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? What? Something funny, little girl? Cat videos, mostly. Who does this child belong to? That would be me, Your Honor. Why am I not surprised? Bailiff, escort the marshal's daughter to one of our finest holding cells. Is that really necessary? Of course it is. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. How about you make her just wait outside? How about you learn to shut your mouth in my courtroom? I imagine that'll make it difficult to finish my testimony. One more cracked testimony would be the least of your concerns. Now, are you going to shut your mouth, or am I going to have to? Your Honor, I have six cases to cite as precedent. Can I ask you a question off the record, Your Honor? What's more surprising to you? That someone made an attempt on your life, or that it hasn't happened more often? Are you threatening me? State versus Craig Jones III. State I'm way ahead of you, Counselor. Remand the marshal and along with his daughter to the bailiff. All the charges stemming from the incident in Florida, assault, attempted carjacking, felon in possession of a firearm, are dropped. The charges from the state of Michigan will stand. Bail is set at 100 grand. So this is what you call quality time. Give it. Chief, can't wait to hear this. I can just sign my paperwork, turn in my car, we'll be on our way. You're gonna need them. No, I've got a cheap one-way rental for the drive home. Raylan, meet Detective Wendell Robinson. Detective, meet Raylan Givens. What's up, Slim? It's because of that bullshit with the judge. Nope, it's because you two are going to be working together. They got a task force with Detroit PD looking into who tried to kill Judge Guy. I want you to lead the marshal presence. Lou? No. It wasn't a question. I promised my kid we got a whole road trip planned back to Miami. And we'll make her ride in the trunk.